Okay, let's go over the um, the dump and pump commands. These are um, bulk commands uh, where you can upload and download the entire contents of the DLEV, the entire state, uh, the software, the presets, the profiles. You can upload and download just the software, the spy files. You can upload and download all of the presets, and you can upload and download all of the profiles all at once. So the EEPROM in particular is a really kind of safe thing to do. Um, say you want, you, you're going to start monkeying around with your system. Um, you, you do uh, dump dash file my, well maybe maybe we dated today's date. 2022 uh, 1006 and then um, we need to say uh, EEPROM flags for the EEPROM mode of dump. So here we are dumping everything that's in the in the DLEF, everything. And it's pretty quick and pretty painless, so you know, doesn't hurt to do it. And then here you've got a snapshot done. Right here of your entire system uh, right now. So we could always go back to that, um, which is great. So if you're going to like, you know, update your software or your monkey around with your presets, your profiles or anything, you might want to just uh, snag a snapshot of your system first because it's quick and easy and, and it, it removes like all um, risk of, of when you monkey with your system. So, um, you could download just all your, your presets if you wanted to. It's kind of a big area. You could get all of your profiles if you want to. And that's really quick because there aren't that many of them. So here we are. We got our EEPROM file, which is everything. We got all of our presets, all of our profiles. And we could download the software too. Um, I don't know why you want to do that, but it doesn't hurt, I guess. <laughs> That's not too big either, really. It's only 16 kilobytes. So, um, yeah, there it is. So there's your software. You could always reprogram just the software, just the profiles, just the presets, or the whole shebang if you wanted to. Um, you can do the same with um, pumping. Let's pump um, the software. Um, we need a file in the old directory to. Okay. And that is a spy file. Um, we need to say that we're doing a spy. So this is pumping the software. So when there's a new software load that doesn't require new presets or profiles or anything like that, you can just update the software. Okay, so you can do the same thing with profile files. Um, preset files and EEPROM files. Uh, the EEPROM file takes a while so I'm not gonna they all kinda do so I'm not gonna show them here but um, they all pretty much like doing the spy file but take longer. Okay.